Well, five new members of New York's congressional delegation were sworn in today, including two who upset incumbents and two others who are making history. News Four's Ida Siegel is live tonight in the Hunts Point section of the Bronx, one of the communities in Congressman Richie Torres' district. She has the story for us. Hi, Ida. Yes, Natalie, Richie Torres, his district office is just behind me here in Hunts Point. He is a former city council member, and yes, he is breaking barriers in Congress. When Democrat Richie Torres won the Bronx's 15th congressional district, he officially became one of the first black gay men in Congress. He says he was proud to finally take his seat at the Capitol today. I thought in my wildest dreams that I would embark on a journey that would take me from public housing in the Bronx to the House of Representatives in Washington, D.C. He shares that milestone with another black gay man from our area, Mondaire Jones, who will also be sworn in to represent Westchester and Rockland counties. The Harvard educated attorney was backed by President Obama and Congress member Alexandria Ocasio Cortez. It is a deeply humbling experience. You know, growing up poor, black, and gay, I never imagined that someone like me could run for Congress, let alone get elected. Democrat Jamal Bowman took his place in Congress for the 16th district. You'll recall he is the progressive former teacher who upset longtime Congressman Elliot Engel to represent the Bronx and Westchester. When you look at our district, it's a tale of two districts. If we were a nation, we would have the eighth worst economic inequality in the world. And on the Republican side, Nicole Maliotakis, the state assembly member from Staten Island, will now represent her home borough and parts of Brooklyn. She beat incumbent Max Rose. We need to get our economy back on track and restore the American jobs that we lost during this pandemic. And uh, that is really where my primary focus is. And finally, the Congressional seat previously held by longtime popular Republican Peter King has been handed to another Republican, State Assemblyman Andrew Garbarino. He won the second congressional district on Long Island after King retired, maintaining a conservative stronghold there. Peter King fought hard for Garbarino in a district that was slowly becoming more progressive, but again, in the end, of course, Garbarino kept that seat Republican. Reporting live from Hunts Point, Ida Siegel, News 4, New York.